what's inside. What's up Greggles and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now for today's video I'm going to be showing you the latest loot crate as it has just arrived a little late but it has arrived nonetheless so I think it's about time we open this one up and see what secrets are inside. Being honest right from the off um, I'm not sure I have as much confidence in Loot Crate as I did when I first started. Uh, some of the other subscription boxes have got a lot better and are sort of rivaling Loot Crate, so I'm not sure it's something I'll be carrying on forward, but I thought I definitely had to show you what was in my most recent sending. I have opened this because I wanted to just check it. I actually forgot it was coming, but what I've done is I've put it all back just so I can show you and you can sort of come along with the ride. I will relive the magic just for you. This month's box was Herbology and everything Herbological, new word. And so the sticker to open it up was just a little mandrake here. And that's quite a nice feature. It's detailed very well and it normally gives you a little clue of what's to come inside. So let's open this one up and I can show you guys exactly what's inside. Here you go, so I'm just gonna peel this. <gasps> no need for a loaf more here. Instantly, a massive pop of green. You can see the dirigible plums, which are on the background. And as usual, it comes with a little guide and it sort of tells you what's inside. So let's have a little read. And it says, from the foreboding foliage of the forbidden forest to the herbology gardens of the Hogwarts greenhouses, we've cultivated a collection of magical plants to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely love Herbology. I think it would probably be my second favourite subject at Hogwarts. I'm awful at keeping my plants alive. I do not have a green thumb. I just think it'd be absolutely fascinating. And plants and magic together. Incredible. Let's kick it off with the bow truckle handkerchief, which I have just here. So this came in a little box, just here, little black box. And if I just open it up, here we go. So we have the handkerchief. Now that is a very cool, fantastic beast item. I'm actually really happy with this, and I think it's possibly my favorite item out of the whole box. This is why I really loved Loot Crate when they started, because they made really original items. Like, I've not seen anything like this. The quality of it is really good. The design, the color, the fabric itself is really nice. And this would be really great for a Newt Scamander cosplay. I really love it. I think the design is really original. And I think it's it's kind of bad that some of the more recent Loot Crates I've had haven't been as original or the things that I might not necessarily have wanted as much. But this would definitely be something which I would buy anyway. So I was super happy to get it in my box. Moving on to item number two. We go from a handkerchief to a tapestry. Now this one is going to be particularly hard for me to show you because it unfolds, unfolds again, folds again. As you can see, this da, 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 is a huge tapestry which just features lots of different plants on sort of a... I'm not really sure what fabric it is. Uh, it's quite see-through. I don't know if you can see that up close just here quite disappointed about this. A, I don't have anywhere to put it, I don't have the room for it, and sort of B, it's something that I wouldn't have really gone for. I mean, the design itself is okay, uh, it's quite pretty, the colours are sort of like vibrant I suppose, but it's just not something I'd go for. Obviously with a loot crate it is a sort of a random assortment of items, you don't get to choose what you get, which I completely agree with, you know, adds to the whole surprise. But for me, this is not something that I would particularly spend money on. I don't think the quality of it is actually that fantastic either. So for me, this kind of put a bit of a downer on the box. For the third item that we have, da 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 da, a Mandrake t-shirt. Now, once again, I'm not, I'm not overly happy with the design. I think it's okay. For me, the colours are a bit of an odd choice. I would have preferred like a line drawing. So it was like maybe like a cream shirt or a grey shirt with like a sketch of the mandrake. I quite like the writing around it. I just think the neon colours are a bit strange. It's sort of like a bad 80s top 
I don't know. I'm not really sure the vibe they were going for. I quite like quirky clothes. I love 80s clothes, but for me, I don't know. It just doesn't really gel together, I don't think. So once again, this item was a bit of a miss for me. The penultimate item of this box was dirigible plum magnets. I just think this is a bit of a cheap product. I mean, it's great if you really love dirigible plums, but you know, really bringing it sort of to the core of what it is, it's just six magnets. You know, loot crates aren't cheap, and I just think that they could have done so much more. Um, it's just not a really original design. I just can't really think of any good things. I mean, even the biggest Luna fans among you, I'm not sure, you know, that's going to be ticking all the boxes. I suppose some people will really love it. I just think it's quite simple and quite basic. So for me, again, not one of the best things I've ever come up with, but I guess it's not the worst either. But finally, on a positive note, the last item part of their Magical Beasts badge series, and this is it. It is the Kelpie. Now, I really love the Kelpie in Fantastic Beasts. I thought the animation was beautiful, and the pins that they've always done in Loot Crate are fantastic. The enameling is green, but sort of like a mottled glitter. Loot Crate have always done the most amazing pins, even when they did their Horcrux series. That was part of the reason which really attracted me to the boxes. So again, this is adding to the collection. I'm very happy with this, but it has put a bit of a good spin on what I would say is a bad box. I suppose one good thing about the box is, as usual, you can fold it and reuse it as quite a decorative box. I did keep the Quidditch one, I thought that was a cool design, and they did one as Newt's case, which I've also kept. But overall, I think this box to me just seems very lacklustre. I think Loot Crate are maybe finally seeing that they have a lot of opposition, and there are some other boxes which are just really hitting the nail on the head, and this one I don't think has, has really hit the mark. There are some, like the box that Cherry Wallace has done, where she's curated a box where each item is something that you you would massively want, you know, they're really creative, where I think when Loot Crate started they were, but now not so much. But I'm hoping they can really turn it round, and I'd like to see what they can get up to in the future, because they really did capture a lot of magic when they first started, and I would love them to get back to where they first started once again. So for me, I'm going to say that the badge is my second favourite, but my first would have to be the handkerchief. When you compare sort of these items to something like this, you know, I think there's, I think there's a big difference. And as I said before, I hope that Loot Crate sort of learn from this box and they really push forward with everything else that they do in the future. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I am absolutely loving being back on YouTube, filming more videos for you, and hopefully you're really enjoying them as well. If you are, make sure to like this video and give it a big thumbs up because I need to see that you love it. And why not comment what your favourite item was down below? Don't forget, you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Greg Who Lived. And with that comes the conclusion of my video. Can't wait to see you soon, but for now, that is all. Bye!